As we approach Memorial Day this weekend, uh, and Memorial Day weekend, I'm rushing it, and a busy summer travel season, I'm here to talk about steps my administration is taking to make air travel better for all Americans. The airline industry is a key part of our economy, and they've been critical partners in a number of important initiatives, from requiring employees to get COVID vaccines and addressing the supply chain problems over the last couple of years. But I know how frustrated many of you are with the service you get from your U.S. airlines, especially after you, the American taxpayer, stepped up in 2020, in the last administration, in the early days of the pandemic, to provide nearly $50 billion in assistance to keep the airline industry and its employees afloat. I get it. That's why our top priority has been to get American air travelers a better deal. We've made real progress, some of which you've just heard. Historically, when delays and cancellations are the airline's fault, the law has only required airlines to refund customers the price of their flight ticket, but not the cost of meals or hotels or transportation when you get left in limbo. In fact, a year ago, almost no major airline guaranteed any compensation beyond the price of the ticket if they caused the delay, the delay was their fault. No reimbursement for a hotel after a canceled flight or a meal after a delayed flight. But then we challenged them to do better. In fact, they did. Airlines started to change their policies when they're at fault for canceling or delaying a flight. Now, nine major airlines cover hotels, 10 cover meals, 10 rebook for free. And that's a real savings for middle class and working class families. For example, the rebook fees could run as high as $200 per ticket. Now, you don't have to pay anything to rebook for most airlines. And that $200, that $200 is back in your pocket, even more if you're traveling with your family. But, but that's not all. At my State of the Union address, I pointed out airlines <clears throat> charging up to $50 a ticket just so you can sit next to your child. Biden seeks to gain voters with new consumer legislation. With a grand old party which is the nickname of the Republican Party, ruling House unwilling at best to support and endorse any Biden proposals, the White House has decided to rule making to attain modifications, particularly to subsidize consumers' cost. Joe Biden conveys statements and clarifications on demanding flight and customer compensation in the South Court Hall on the White House Auditorium, Monday, May 8, 2023. Biden said in his remarks, and I quote you're sitting in the airport terminal for what feels like forever, checking the departures and arrival screen in vain hopes that your flight will be leaving soon after hours or more of delays. And you're thinking, someone should pay for this. The Biden administration thinks so. And on Monday declared that it will be recommending guidelines that would oblige flight to recompense travelers for aircraft interruptions or cancellations when the airline is responsible. I quote the historic new rule, Joe Biden reiterated at the White House on Monday, not specifying a period framework for the development, and I quote will make it mandatory for all U.S. airlines to compensate you with meals, hotels, taxis and rebooking fees and cash, miles and or travel vouchers in circumstances where the flight companies are liable for long waits. In the interim, the government is identifying and discrediting airlines, stipulating a comprehensive and user-friendly website easy to browse. Flightrights.gov, where customers can do comparison which flight deal is the best and delivers compensation as meals, taxi or rideshare costs, rebooking on another flight or hotels when there is a long adjournment or termination of flight basic route. I quote this is just about being fair, Biden professed. I know that these things may not matter to the very wealthy, but they matter most to middle class families. The Department of Transportation has previously recommended a decree saying flight companies and trip navigation online sites would have to divulge direct info about all the small prints, the initial stage when a ticket prices are showed, any charges deemed to sit with your kid for altering or terminating your trip, and for checked or carry-on luggage. After that law was propositioned, numerous flight companies willingly took off the additional charges to sit with your individual kids, Biden noted. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, in his comments before Biden spoke, said that boosted implementation and translucence by the agency has ensued in $1 billion refunds to travelers. Policy designing is one of the ways the decision-making board division can construct strategic modifications without devising to go through Congress. Developing on prevailing laws, such guidelines and regulations are the comprehensive implementation of regulations now in existence.
With a GOP run House unenthusiastic at finest to endorse any Biden plans, the White House has spanned to law designation to attain some slighter alterations in parts where the president would desire a holistic overhauling. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. But mandatory for all U.S. airlines to compensate you with meals, hotels, taxis, ride shares, or re and rebooking fees, and cash, miles, and or travel vouchers whenever they're the ones to blame for the cancellation or delay. And that's all on top of refunding the cost of your ticket. Airline passengers in Canada, for example, in the European Union and other places already get these compensations. And guess what? It works. One study found that the European Union required airlines to compensate passengers for flight delays. The number of flight delays went down. I appreciate Secretary Buttigieg's leadership on this issue. And I hope and expect the Department of Transportation to move as quickly as it can to put this new rule in place. It matters. I know these things may not matter to the very wealthy, but they matter most to middle class families and people struggling to get the cost of, in the first place of getting that airline. And, and so, look, these actions are in addition to other progress we were making to lower costs for American families, holding corporations accountable and grow our economy from the bottom up and the middle out, not just the top down. I signed a groundbreaking executive order on competition that is helping us do everything from lowering the cost of hearing aids to banning non-compete clauses. And in my State of the Union address, you may recall, I call for an end to junk fees. That is those hidden surcharges that you'd see at hotels, concerts, and credit card bills that you didn't know about before you got the ticket. I continue to call on Congress to pass the Junk Free Prevention Act, because that's what American consumers deserve. I'm going to close with this. We're making progress, but we have more to do to reverse decades of concentrated corporate power and the continuing to lower prices and increasing opportunities for families, workers, and small business owners and entrepreneurs. So let's finish the job. Remember who we are, as I've said many times, we're the United States of America. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV by visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books. Thank you for your hospitality.